on the controversy it has sparked today. I really miss playing with my friends on the playground and going to all my classes. Kyra Crawford desperately wants to be back in school with her third grade friends. Her parents and several others in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood were surprised to see kids walking the halls of Kester Elementary School for a production shoot when LAUSD schools are closed because of the pandemic. I'm sort of on the fence about it. Of course, Cairo here is in third grade and she misses the routine of being in the classroom and being around her friends. Um, but I think that this might be a, a more controlled environment. Apparently, LAUSD is allowing dozens of kids on campus to work and do a shoot for Apple TV, but they say it's unsafe to have kids on campus to learn. What on earth? This is completely insane. Jenny Hunts is a communication director for Speak Up, a community organization for parents. She and other neighbors say if the school can be approved for a shoot involving students, it should be allowed to reopen for in-person learning. It made me feel very uh, frustrated and also jealous that my kids were not on the campus learning, you know. We reached out to LAUSD. A spokesperson said filming on school district property is subject to state and county health standards, which are different than those which allow schools to provide in-person instruction. People we spoke with say they hope the district and its employees can come to an agreement to reopen schools soon. LAUSD has universal testing and contact tracing in place. They have every safety measure in place that exceeds the CDC recommendations. What they don't have is a decision to let these kids come back. And it's crazy. Trying to make the best of it and we constantly pray for those households that might have, you know, essential workers as parents or don't have the same support. Um, for their children. Parents say they hope to see more students walking the halls of Kester Elementary, not for a production, but for actual in-person learning. Reporting in Sherman Oaks, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Workers outside of a Long Beach Food for Less 